The history of the U.S. Embassy in Canberra is inextricably linked with women leaders. Let us introduce you to three of those women, each a first lady of her nation. Each planted a tree in Australian soil and helped grow a relationship spanning the Pacific Ocean. In the darkest days of World War II in the Pacific, Eleanor Roosevelt undertook an extensive tour in the region to meet U.S. service personnel and our allies. The Pacific trip left a mark from which I will never be free. On September 4, 1943, Eleanor Roosevelt, as a representative of the Red Cross, came to Canberra. I had the pleasure of driving first to see the new legation which we are building here. It is made of the same kind of brick used in Williamsburg, Virginia. The house stands on a hill and has a lovely view. I planted a little oak, which starts the landscaping. This single tree grew, and the urban forest of our embassy grew, with other plantings by visitors including Lady Bird Johnson, Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, and Harriet Mayer Fulbright. Over the years, this botanic legacy has been nurtured by our gardeners, with acorns saved and grown into seedlings and saplings that endure. Our ambassadors have made gifts of saplings from Eleanor's Oak, with many planted around Australia. In the very near future, one will grow at the Canberra Islamic Centre. In December 2013, with an assembly of Australia's young women leaders, Dame Quentin Bryce planted a red box gum to give Eleanor's Oak some young company. Seventy years after Eleanor's historic visit, Australia's first woman governor general made her mark on our landscape. In January 2015, after several decades of shading us, Eleanor's Oak was felled by a storm. To honor the legacy of the tree, its timber has been milled and cured until it becomes suitable for fine woodworking, at which time it will be turned into furniture and other artifacts. The ACT Woodcraft Guild has already used some of the timber from Eleanor's Oak in a workshop, teaching amateur craftspeople how to build traditional Windsor chairs. As our relationship with Australia evolves over generations, so has the Eleanor Oak evolved. A precious sapling has been planted in its place by Lady Lynn Cosgrove, the inaugural patron of Partners of Veterans Australia, renowned community volunteer, and an Australian First Lady. And I hope over the next 70 years or so, people will look at this tree and take time to play under it, rest in its shade, contemplate its meaning and reflect on the friendship between our countries. I thank you very much for the honour. Thank you.